So in today's video, we're going to look at how we can make our own GPT. And what we're doing is leveraging the power of chat GPT, adding our own documents and adding our own custom instructions. I'm really hoping that I can make something that's truly amazing and use lots of documents. And this seems like a good, oh, hang on. It's still very much in data. No, I'm having big problems. No, 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 no. It's not saving it. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay, got to try again. Clearly, the hint here is you've got to upload just a few documents that it's going to read. So what I would suggest to you is, is keep a limited amount of documents to guide it and advise it. It's nice. It makes its own icon. It's clearly taken this from the title. So I've made it CS to give it a little bit more of a, a thing here. And I'm giving it some basic instructions. As you can see from the configure tool, you can give it quite a lot, but there's quite a lot of power available to us here. So let's see how this goes. I will stress, of course, that none of this is in real time because I thought you'd be bored, silly. Um, the video officially took about 10, 15 minutes to record originally, but I don't think you want to see me type various computer science instructions in here, fix the instructions at my own pace. Now, when you started, that's okay. Uh, configuring it, and I've just asked it about loops. Okay, let's see. I mean, we are doing computer science one here, but it's interesting to see what it does. It's searching its knowledge, it's having a look, and it's actually giving us a really good answer. That was enough to make me feel good and make me feel like this is of some serious benefit. However, of course, it's not long before you realize it hasn't paid that much attention to the document that it should have done. And so now I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to edit it. And this time I'm going to use the um, create tool. And again, it's using its own AI um, to say, hey, please, can you do a fix for this? In this case, I've got a very specific fix because the Cambridge GCSE is very fussy about assignment. It wants arrows, not equal signs. And right now it was giving equal signs where it shouldn't have done. GPT happily builds it and I run it again and let us see how it's doing. Oh, fantastic. It's actually following the instructions. It does seem to be a little bit hit and miss on these instructions, but I think this is the real power. You give it the basic documents, you configure it using the chat, and before long, you've got a very powerful tool that will really help you. Still needs a fair bit of teacher intervention, but last thing at night for students, I think this is really useful and really helpful. And I think you could use it for any subject. Just put your syllabus in there and see what it can come up with. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe. We really appreciate those subs. And let us know what content you would like.